Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at how we can allow GitHub access token uh, to create and update the GitHub workflow. Okay, so here in this article or video we will be looking at a GitHub repository and try to update the uh, the personal access token with the required accesses to create and update the github workflow so this is uh, extension to our last video wherein we have looked at how we can build a python kb based application uh, apk package uh, using the github workflow but i missed out to mention one thing about uh, the access that we need to grant to the access token to the github workflow okay so let us see like how we can carry out that in this video so uh, i'm going to work on ubuntu 22.04 so this is basically the runner that i'm going to use for github workflow to execute on okay so what exactly is github actions like we have already seen that but let me brief you again so github actions is basically uh, uh, helps in ease out uh, helps in automating the ci cd pipeline for the software development and uh, software build uh, cycles so it helps in uh, creating all the uh, like uh, build uh, deploy uh, test and packaging steps uh, with github actions okay so that is what exactly the github actions will help us in uh, our project uh, life cycle and what exactly is github workflow github workflow is basically a uh, set of uh, steps that are executed uh, in order to build you uh, basically uh, build a package or deploy or uh, test your software project okay so it is uh, not uh, it, so it is not basically with the devops ci uh, cd cycle but it is more than that like that we, that we can do with github workflows okay so in uh, so as i said like this video is uh, more focused on like uh, how we can provide access to the github access token so let us see like how that can be carried out so as a first step like we need to clone the repository okay so i'm currently using uh, my uh, github uh, repository that is learn git so i'm going to clone that one so i have already have that uh, cloned so, so if you do not have like you can just fork this repository and try to clone this okay so you can just do git clone and this learn git okay so once you have cloned like you will uh, you can go into the learn git directory and you will see the following structure available in your local machine okay so the second step like is basically creating the workflow so here like we are going to use uh, a workflow that is already uh, provided by github so sample workflow uh, that is already provided by github in their quick start so you can uh, take a look at that quick start and get that sample workflow so github workflow uh, so as i said like it basically consists of uh, jobs which consist of steps which are executed when we uh, trigger the workflow so github workflow is basically uh, executed on a, set, uh, a runner so each uh, job gets executed on a particular runner so that particular runner can be a virtual machine or a container and uh, we are going to look at some more uh, new things in this so basically we are looking at context so context are a way to access uh, information about workflow runners variables and runner environments jobs and steps so what exactly i mean to say in, uh, with this statement is so whenever we are going to execute or trigger a workflow like there are a set of uh, environment variables we can say or the context variables that get created and that get assigned a value so these values the, we can use in our uh, workflow or in our jobs or in our steps that we uh, define in our workflow okay so each context is an object that uh, that is basically you can uh, say it is a key value type of object wherein the we define the key uh, we use the key and the respective value gets automatically uh, replaced during the execution of the workflow okay so these are some of the contexts that we are going to use in our workflow 
uh, as I said, like this workflow that uh, uh, we are using over here is uh, taken from the GitHub uh, documentation itself. So you can uh, take a look at the GitHub doc documentation and get the workflow. Okay, so this is a workflow that we are going to use. Okay, so let me go into my shell and just uh, open my GitHub workflow. So this is the workflow that uh, we are uh, using for this uh, article. So it is basically nothing but a set of uh, run uh, steps which ex uh, run a echo command and uh, there is a step that uses the action. So basically it is uh, using the GitHub actions to check out the repository and, and then like we are just basically listing out the uh, repository content. But uh, there are a few new things that we are using these are not, uh, these are the contexts that we are using so contexts are basically the runtime values that we can use uh, in our workflow uh, to uh, capture those values okay so here like you can see like this will provide us with uh, with the github repository name and this is going to provide us with the uh, the os on which the github workflow is getting executed okay so and this one the job status is going to provide us with the status of the job that we are currently going to execute with this workflow okay so let me close this uh, workflow and let us go into our next step that is pushing the changes okay so uh, right now like i have this already uh, checked uh, cloned from uh, my repository so it is there is nothing changed over here but let me uh, just update over here so let's try to install uh, the python uh, 3.11 version okay so let me save it and try to see so we have this one file modified that we can uh, push it into our repository so let us add it So you can give any comment uh, or uh, for your uh, comment. And now let us try to push the changes. So it is going to ask for your user id and uh, the password like if you have already enabled the uh, personal access token uh, to uh, and like push uh, changes to your repository then you will have your personal access to token that you need to uh, provide uh, in the password section okay so let me uh, like pause this video for a second so that i can insert my password okay so in this step like i have inserted my password over here and the next thing that i have got from github is this error so you can see the permission to the github repository that is learn git is denied to novice java okay so what is the error like we are unable to access the repository or it is basically denied access to uh, the request uh, it is basically denied access So, uh, so as you can see, like uh, even uh, like I tried it again, but I can see the same error. Like I am not able to uh, like update my repository. So this is something to uh, do with uh, the permissions. Like four mod four not three is basically a forbidden error. So let us try to see like what exactly uh, this error means. Okay. So let me go into my GitHub repository uh, in browser. So let me open GitHub and uh, let us uh, now go into the user profile settings over here and you can go into the developer settings and go to your personal access token, classic token. So I have my classic token enabled. 
so which I'm using so here you can see the repo uh, access like uh, is not given like full control of uh, private repos so access to public repositories uh, access uh, access to repo read write uh, is not provided so let me try to give access to this and try to save or update my token and let me try to again push and now like once I have uh, like provided my uh, access token over here like you can see like it is trying to push the workflow changes but I got another error that is remote rejected like but now the error is different like uh, here you can see it is refusing to allow a personal access token to create or update the workflow okay so this is exactly like you might encounter like if you have a, a fresh github repository that is created and you haven't updated your uh, personal access to token with the required access okay so in this case like what exactly we need to do is we need to go to the github repository save like you need to go into user profile settings and go to the developer settings go to personal access token that is token classic open your token and right now like we have given the repo access so we were able to uh, like we can just push the changes uh, but uh, it will not allow us to push the workflow changes okay so you will not be able to create any workflow with your github token until and unless you provide access using the following uh, the checkbox so once you uh, uh, up, up, uh, enable this checkbox uh, it will allow to create and update the github actions workflow from your local uh, workstation okay so let me now update this token and now again let me clear my screen and try to push the changes okay now you can see like the pushes uh, the changes have been pushed like i am basically uh, able to update or create or, or update my workflow from locally and push those changes to github repository so that is what exactly we wanted to look at in this video like how we can provide access to our github token or personal access token so that we will be able to create and update our workflow from our local workstation So let me go into my uh, documentation. So we have pushed the changes and we have looked at the error also like uh, which we encountered uh, when the personal access token is not provided with the workflow access. But now that we have given the workflow access, the changes have been pushed and it should automatically trigger that workflow based on the push event uh in the github so so this step like we have already seen like we have updated our personal access token with the workflow scope access okay so now like uh we have updated uh like uh, we have pushed our changes also like now it, it is time to validate the workflow so as soon as the changes are pushed it is going to trigger the workflow so let me go into my repository and go into actions like you will see like my workflow has been triggered this is the workflow that i have triggered novice java is testing out github actions and here like if you open this workflow like as i said like we have used some set of context so context is basically uh, uh, capturing the runtime information from the uh, github uh, environment and providing it to you uh, uh, provided uh, providing access to you in your workflow uh, that you define okay so here you can see the job was automatically triggered by push event okay so if I try to correlate it with my workflow so we have used the 
github dot event name context so which basically is replaced with the push event and if you go into my next step that is uh, the job is now running on linux server uh, hosted by github so linux is the os which gets uh, uh, introduced uh, whose value is getting introduced uh, based on this context that we have used in the github workflow that is runner.os and similarly you can check for other uh, contexts that have been uh, like updated with the respective values in the workflow so this is how like you can allow your github tokens uh, github personal access token access to your github workflows okay so this is specifically uh, when you are working locally uh, li like uh, when you are working with git locally from your shell but it might not be the case uh, when you work with vs code or maybe some other id because like when you are working with uh, the vs code or any other id you might have uh, like stored your user id and password details in your uh, github uh, uh, basically uh, configuration github configuration so it might take uh, them as uh, the uh, credentials and uh, it might push your changes uh, related to your github workflow but that might not be the case uh, if you work from locally okay so that's all i wanted to show you in this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day